We cannot access verbally what the unconscious mind attempts to disown. In body psychotherapy, we see the unconscious not as a vague psychological sphere, but as located in regions of the body where energy is being managed or blocked. In core energetics, we see energy and consciousness as unified. So if you're repressing your energy, you're also repressing consciousness. If you block pain, you also block pleasure. You cannot suppress one without also affecting the other. How this happens in the body is through the formation of what is known as armoring, which are set patterns of muscular holding. So for example, a tight jaw can prevent us from crying or from expressing our anger. Chronic tension in the muscles of the eyes, which may give the eyes a cold or vacant appearance, protect us from the intimacy of contact. How do energy blocks develop? These blocks develop in the body over time, and as a result of repetitive and significant experiences that happen during critical formational periods in our early life. Experiences which our psyche was not able to handle. Better said, the armoring that develops in the body is the way, becomes the way, that the psyche handles the environmental frustrations. What is significant is that the same armoring, which originally served an adaptive or protective purpose, keeps us living and acting as if those early realities still continue today. And so we find ourselves repeating certain patterns over and over. These patterns contain what in core energetics are called images or fixed beliefs. Let me give you an example of an image. Someone who is deeply frustrated around needs may develop an image that goes something like this. If I allow myself to need, then I'm going to be disappointed. Rather, if I don't need, then I can't be disappointed. So in this case, closing off our consciousness to our real needs becomes a solution to the frustration. This may never have been formulated as a distinct thought. The wound having been experienced before this thinking was even possible. It would, however, be revealed in the body. You might be able to see it in a sunken chest that takes in a little breath, in essence refusing the energy and the sustenance, and in de-energized arms that have difficulty reaching out toward what is wanted or needed. The body forms itself so as to literally close itself off from needing too much by a contraction of the receptive centers in the front of the body. The environment does and will modify genetic body shape, as we now know from recent findings in the field of epigenetics, which confirms what body psychotherapy has known for quite a long time. Thank you, my name is Lisa Lustino.